Hello there, welcome to our YouTube. When we work on increasing productivity, especially now when many people stay in home as much as they can and many people switch to work from home or lost job and try to build some online business or side hustle, one of the biggest challenges is dealing and organizing how we call it routines. A routine is something that is overwhelming for most of us and a routine is something that is almost annoyed actually because who likes dealing with routines? Who likes doing the very same thing over and over again? There are not many people who are by, by the personality which can actually deal with it at all and we all have to deal with some sort of routines anyway like uh, I don't know preparing our kids to go to school next season or helping with the homework or doing some housework buying groceries cooking dinner cleaning laundry all those things are actually routines so these things that we don't really like doing some people will like uh, to do cleaning wonderful others don't and many actually don't so there are many ways to deal with routines the most popular we use in our routines optimizer obviously the strategies uh, the delegation and automation uh, if you can automate some processes that are routine that's wonderful like for example the simple thing you do have we do have now appliances that where you can upload all the detergent uh, in the load and that will be enough for months so this little thing that little routine is already automated and when it comes to online business for example if you do need to manage your uh, social media if you didn't hire anybody doing it for you you have automation tools to do it for you right so this is automation simple example when it comes to delegation obviously it's even easier uh, you got tired of cleaning you don't have time to clean or you just don't like doing it at all what you can do you can delegate you can always hire somebody doing this to do this thing for you and many routines can actually be delegated and so obviously these are two most popular strategies of dealing with routines delegate and automate what else can you do well there are things you can do if you can't use automation or delegation there are four more strategies for you i have today the first one will be uh, stop obsessing and stop stressing out so if you have if you see that floors are not perfectly clean now and you just get upset about it, stop yourself from thinking that way. Create organization for this routine. For example, say that I'm going to do floors every Monday and uh, Thursday. Wonderful. You already organized this routine. You are in control of that routine, not routine control over you. I mean, it happens if you broke the glass, you need to take vacuum cleaner again and clean it or you just spill something. But it's not that routine. You won't be having this heavy feeling on your shoulders every single day that this routine is on you. When you know that Monday and Thursday it will be clean. Done. So this heavy weight is gone. So this is one of the uh, strategies. Stop stressing out. Another one, spice it up. So what can you do? reorganize it you have routines that you don't like dealing with if you start building your online business or coaching career whatever it is there are routines like prospecting like uh, calls with prospects like call with your team if you already have a team and some of those tasks can be you know overwhelming and some meetings team meetings sometimes can be really can really feel as routine because Frankly, many of them are not very productive in terms of result, but those are things you still have to do because the teamwork requires listening and uh, organizing results together and we feel tired of that, but you can spice it up how you can participate better, you can create different ideas, you can uh, suggest different process like for example start your management meeting with some motivational quotation that all of you share and smile or anecdote whatever it is do it differently that's what i mean by spice it up do things differently 
that routine will not feel that routine anymore once you change all the tiny little things like doing grocery it's not fun for you it's overwhelming and tired you have five kids in the house and all this i understand it is hard but what can you do you can engage your kids uh, you can create menu all of you all together or together you can pick a recipe of something fun cooking together next week try something new and you include those items and make your kids help you include those items in the grocery list so next time you're going to do groceries or ordering groceries online it will not feel that overwhelming because that little tiny feeling of excitement that you are eating something new it is not that routine anymore so these are two more stop stressing up and spice it up the next one rotate if you have everything scheduled, everything's perfect, your routines are organized. So Monday and Thursday you are cleaning, Wednesday you are doing groceries, Friday you're doing laundry, everything is fine, but you tired getting tired of all of that again, and you can't delegate it yet, or for some other reason you can't automate. So just I think get routine again. Rotate, change days, change schedule. Do it differently. Don't do clean it all in one day. Uh, if you have to do it by yourself, try to divide. I do floors today, I do bathroom tomorrow. If you can uh, involve your family members in this process, that's wonderful. It's even easier as a part of the delegation and spicing it up also and rotating. So these are three more. Spice up, stop stressing up. Oops, sorry, that was my remote. <laughs> Stop stress it out, spice it up and rotate. This is in addition to delegate and automate. This is a wonderful routine optimization strategy. And one more left for you. Simplify. So look at that routine and check if all the things are actually should be done that often or should be done in this particular order or should be done in a streak schedule like you set it up or it can be simpler easier this is actually the part of uh, you stop stressing out about it because when you simplify you make it easier and when you stop stressing up you make it easier also these are the six strategies for you to deal with routines and no matter how hard it is right now with lockdowns you have to stay home it all feels like one gray routine it is not. It is a bright day. It is a wonderful day. If it is sunny, it is a nice day. If it's raining, it's a wonderful day. Take a cup of coca and uh, read a book in the evening. Watch the movie. It is a wonderful day. It is a wonderful time. Not easy, but it never is. And here are the things, strategies for you to deal with routines.